Yeah, buenos nachos and welcome back to the channel. So on today's episode, we're gonna be working on this Xbox Series X and it needs an HDMI port replacement. Thing is that that has already been done and we'll probably end up needing to fix some work that was done previously. So let's go ahead and take a look. So it looks like we're gonna to need to rebuild a couple of these traces, but first we're gonna to have to remove this HDMI port. This of course will take some time to remove just because this is a giant heat sink. Will of course spare you the wait time and immediately skip to the end. Now it has been removed. Let's go ahead and take a look at the damage. So it doesn't look too bad. Let's go ahead and set our iron down to 350. Yeah, it looks like that's not really on 100%. Now, of course, we gotta figure out how we're gonna rebuild these traces. You know, at first glance, it doesn't really look that bad. All right, and we have one last hole here. We'll attack that from the other side because it doesn't look like it wants to come out through this side. Got some desoldering braid in there that needs to be removed. So there's how our port looks. Go ahead and add some flux to all of this. We'll set the port back on here. So what I'll go ahead and do is tack down one of the sides of this HDMI port, this side over here. Let's make sure we're still aligned. So we'll probably want to be about right there. So I've just gone ahead and tacked down the right hand side over here. You won't get to see it, but that's what I did. And that looks like it's gonna work out for us. It uh, looks a little offset, but that's fine. I do think that some of these legs are a little crooked, but that's okay. We can work with it. So let's go ahead and secure it from the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some hot air to aid in securing this HDMI port to the board. So we'll lower ourselves down to 350 and swap over to the other tip. Let's go ahead and put some new flux in here. Go ahead and see how these traces are holding up. I'm assuming most, if not all, are, ta are not tacked down, but we'll see. Yeah, so that one needs to be uh, reattached. Use our thinner dental tool for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have some work to do still. I guess we'll throw it back up to 1250. It's really trying to avoid using the soldering look in there, but I guess I don't have much choice. Alright, 
Now let's see what we're working with as far as these traces are concerned and whether the legs are attached. That one might need some more work. This one, of course. Let's go ahead and get this clean so I can see what's happening. I don't want to be too aggressive because we need these traces. All right, so we just finished swapping out to a thinner tip. So what you can do is you can also hold down the trace while soldering it. And I really don't want to take the brush in there because we could end up tearing some of those traces. So we're going to go very, very gently over these. All right, so we've taken care of all of the legs of the port, and now I think it'd be best if we just go ahead and rebuild these traces. Just because they seem a little flimsy and I don't want to have to deal with them later. Really a shame because that one seems quite solid. I guess we can keep that one, but this one we're going to rebuild and this other one because it's not long enough. Now that we've cleaned away the old traces, we're gonna go ahead and add new ones in here. We're gonna use some old wire that I have laying around right here. Uh, you can't really see it, but this is pretty much what we're looking at. Very fine strand. Well, probably we ought to just add solder to this and that'd be the best way to go about it. And then of course we'll go and move that over here. Might need a second pair of tweezers for this. So go ahead and cut that off. And I'll use an X-Acto blade for that, nothing fancy. Looking pretty good, if I may say so myself. All right, so we're gonna add our green UV coating to this. It doesn't look the nicest, but it'll do. Let's go ahead and cure this using a UV light. 
So that's this guy right here. We'll probably run it through two cycles. Meantime, I will begin to put my tools away. So as you can tell, our UV coating has cured. There's a little bit here that needs another round. So I'll go ahead and do that again off camera. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and finish this out. Well, the customer didn't send us their Xbox Series X to go ahead and test this. However, I've done this quite a bit of times now and I'm pretty confident in my services and my abilities. Now, if you need your port repaired or if you have some kind of damage on one of your ports, HDMI for another video game console, you can always click on the link in the description below where we offer our services. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful or useful, please remember to leave us a like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.